Welcome to High Voltage Studios, I'm your host Lucas, and today I'm actually not at the office slash studio. I'm on a, well I guess you can call it a business trip. But I wanted to put out this episode to you guys, because today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cool effect in Premiere Pro and After Effects. So here's what we're going to be creating. This is a nifty effect I picked up recently, and it's pretty easy to do. I used After Effects and Premiere Pro, what I usually do when I'm doing editing, but you do not need necessarily to have After Effects to accomplish what you're trying to get out of, which is to amplify or change the weather in a shot. After Effects does help with the snow and well, the, the visual heat in these shots, but they're not mandatory. You can still accomplish what you're trying to do with color grading in Premiere Pro. So don't feel restricted just because you don't have After Effects. Now, let's get into this effect. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open a new project, and I'll name this Change the Weather, and <clears throat> I'll hit OK. And I, uh, well, once it opens up, we don't have any of our footage in here, because obviously it's a new project, but I'm just gonna resize it how I like it so I can work efficiently, like um, most people do when they're starting a new project. And we're going to go to Arrange, and we're going to import our, our files. And import clips. I always copy my clips down, don't leave them on the SD card, because then when you take out the SD card, you're gonna lose all your clips, obviously. So that's not good. So I'm gonna import it right now. They're all imported and they're all ready, right? So. I'm going to actually do a magic trick that I learned, I guess you can say. And I'm going to have all of these magically move with the snap of my finger. Whoa, they're magically here. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be splitting up each one of these clips for each different effect that I'm gonna be doing. You know, like one for snow and like cold and one for warm and one for just a really nice looking day that he's going down the place basketball and we have this clip right here um and there's another one uh, I think. yeah it's this one and we're going to make it very dark very drab and not a lot of good things because it's raining we're gonna make the contrast about the same the highlights need to be really dark we need this to be also dark this whites maybe that's probably good and the blacks to be dark too but the thing that's gonna make a lot of of difference is the saturation because you know it's gonna be gray it's raining the main reason why he's switching the weather is because it's raining it's not bright out it's dark and you know you don't want to play basketball and this color wheel is gonna make just a tiny bit of a difference to push it over the edge you get a little bit blue a little bit yeah like that the dark green and i think yeah i'm gonna make this exposure and maybe down a little bit yeah, yeah, that looks, that looks And we have this really dark, miserable scene. It's raining, and this kid obviously, like, like most kids, would never want to play basketball. Anymore. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy these attributes, and I'm going to paste them into this clip where it's also raining, but I'm not going to paste them into the other ones. Because this is supposed to be, next clips are supposed to be warm and happy. For our next clip, it's supposed to be hot and sweltering heat, so I'm going to make this exposure up and I'm going to make the contrast all the way dark. Like, no contrast at all. And I'm going to make these blacks, um, like, reduce them, I guess you could say. And actually, we're going to make the saturation all the way up on this clip. And next up, this is, once again, the biggest difference, and it's going to be this um, color wheel. So we're going to make the color wheel for the mediums very hot and very orange-ish, and we're going to kind of reduce what we just did, I guess you can say, a little bit with this blue. But what we're going to do, this highlights, need to be really red, so we can get this really feel of it's, it's burning, like basically it's an apocalypse. But we're going to use this temperature again, and we're going to make this very hot, very orange, and it gets us this little cool effect, which is kind of like radiation, actually. And we're going to go from this dark clip to this really light in contrast with it. So now that I have my clip all set up, I'm going to bring it into After Effects, 
where we're going to add this kind of barbecue, I guess you can say, effect on it, which will, you know, like give it, like warp it, if you will. And the clip, oh, well, the effect that I'm going to be using is turbulent displace. And I'm going to drag, drag it on the clip, and it kind of warps everything, like I said. And we're going to go into these mounts, which you can definitely use. For the mount, 27 would be good. For the size, uh, 7. I like this guy. And for the complexity, the next thing I'm going to go to is around... Well, it's around this 1.4 area. I might... I'm, I'll, I'll raise it up to 1.5. You can do what you want and customize it. But what's going to make the biggest difference for this is that this little offset. And what we're going to do, we're going to put that down here. And we're going to kind of animate it because it will move the warp, if you will. And it will create this little difference to it. So we will keep this and bring it all the way down to the back of our clip. And we'll move this all the way up to the top. So you can kind of see already that it's going to um, warp everything um, that it's overlaying. So now it's moving, it's animated, and it's all good. So let's just watch this. And you can tell that it has this nice little barbecue effect, if you will. And what I'll do next <clears throat> is that I'll export it and render it through the render queue. I usually do, and uh, label it, just call this hot, because, I mean, it is hot. It's like Fallout, if you will. And render it, and it's all good. And we'll bring it in to our Premiere Pro project, our original thing, and with the uh, rest of our clips. Find it hot, and, and overlay it over our original, and it goes from this to this, and it looks pretty good. Now for a break. Welcome to the Apocalypse. I am your host, Lucas, and today the forecast is going to be hot and humid with a touch of radioactive wind. Don't expect anything to be falling out of the sky today. So the next thing that we're going to do with this clip is we're going to make it snowy. It goes from hot to freezing cold. Like, we're talking, like... 200 degrees below, like freezing, you know? So we're gonna use a little After Effects thing and we're gonna use this color grading. We're gonna obviously move the temperature down to the blue, bring the exposure up, because the snow, if when the snow is brought in, it's gonna be falling and it's gonna be a little bit reflective. Um, yeah, um, white seem to be up because of the snow needs to be very nice looking. Um, make it a little bit blue, because we're trying to really get that, like, fake but like cool frozen look going on of course it's a little dramatic because you know to get the point around um to what we want to do and what we're gonna do we're gonna bring this into after effects like we did with the other clip and we are going to be using new effect so actually first we need to create a new solid and just call it snow and yeah just hit okay and we're gonna use the effect that I was talking about called CC Particle, wait, yeah. CC Particle World. And it's a really cool effect. And we, well, we'll drop this onto our solid and what it will do, it will create particles like snow or right now on the screen, it's, um, I guess like a little firework thing. But of course it's snow right now, what we're trying to get. So we're going to make it white because like, you know, snow is white. <laughs> and we're gonna make this a faded sphere. And what it's gonna do, you already get this little look, but it's going down, but it's like centered, you know? So we're going to increase this and this, the birth rate, because we want to have a lot, because like, as soon as you press that button, it's going to be freezing. And snow is obviously gonna come down because it went from, you know, raining, just when it's raining, freezing. We're gonna move this gravity down, velocity, the snow kind of flutters down. And we're going to spread out our snow with this. We're going to make this go wide. The Y axis to be big. So we have a little bit of an offset. It's coming down, it's snowing. But what I really want to do, I'm going to use this. Um, actually, wait. 
we're going to make this max opacity um because we want it to be solid even though you know it's a little bit um, clear and see-through but not really but for right now but yeah it looks pretty good but i think that one thing i'm going to do is let's scroll back up and we're going to go to the radius z and we can move it out so it doesn't look like everything is at a certain point we want it to be like some being close up and some being like on top of him sort of so when we do this radius z it gives us this and it looks really good yeah i think it looks pretty nice we're just going to let's see, export it out with the render queue like we usually do and all this cold 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 and cut well it is cold and we'll just save this and render it yes, it looks pretty good for what you're trying to get around you can make this whatever you want it to be you can make it um a little bit harder like come down like velocity and the um opacity can be harder because like if you want a blizzard but right now this is supposed to be a simple cold little scene that as soon as he presses that button the snow is going to come down okay so now i just brought in my clips back into premiere pro and they're looking pretty nice you know you go from this raining to the hot to the cold to the snow and now this last part is going to be where it's going to be like a perfect day it's going to be beautiful so what we're going to do we're going to um make the exposure up you know because it's sunny out we're going to make this temperature to the opposite of the blue that we did on the previous clip maybe um, highlights definitely up um look pretty good definitely want to get the saturation up because the greens need to be green you know because it's a, it's a nice day out and we'll even throw a tiny bit of like a, a reddish orange just to brighten some stuff up um we're gonna reverse that with the shadows on here on the color wheels and we're going to make these highlights up a bit because uh, you know the sun's really the sun's out and it's gonna be warmer it's not too warm as like the other clip before like the weird and hot radiation one but it's like nice enough to look um like a beautiful day like because i mean you you want this not well you don't want him but this kid is going to be definitely playing basketball out on a nice day not this rainy thing that we have before so we go from hot to cold and then perfect day that you could ever imagine and he's just gonna walk off now let's review what we just created thanks for watching this has been the effect how to change the weather but before you go and click off Remember that the effect in this video has been tuned up to be dramatic. You can customize this effect how you want it to be. We only made it dramatic just so we can get our point across. Use this effect wisely and use it well in your video. And yes, yeah, that's it. But please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below what you want to see. If you want to see more of these tutorial videos or if you want to see a specific effect looked over and shown off the channel, we'll probably end up doing it. This is the High Voltage Studio. Thank you for watching and signing out.